Hello everyone, let's start with chapter number 3 that is metals and non-metals. So in this I will be covering few box questions that are on page number 49. So question number 1 says, write the electron dot structure for sodium, oxygen and magnesium. So for sodium, the electron, the electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. For oxygen, it is 2, 8, 6. Now for magnesium, it is 2, 8, 2. Now how to draw electron structure is, first you need to write the symbol of the element. We have sodium, so it is Na here. Now you need to take the last one, last, last electron that is in the N shell, that is 1 here. So I will draw an electron like structure here, so Na dot. Now in oxygen you can see we have 6 electrons in the outermost shell. So it will be 6 here. So this is the electron dot structure for oxygen. Now the last one is magnesium. Magnesium has 2 electrons in the outermost shell. So I will draw like this. Now in the second part we need to show the formation of sodium oxide and magnesium oxide by the transfer of electrons. So sodium oxide. Now you can see here we have 2 N. That is Na, Na. Now Na is drawn as one electron. Now we have oxygen. Single oxygen is there. Now to complete the octet of oxygen, what we need to do is we need to give off this free electron of sodium to oxygen. So we will have electron here. Now this electron again comes to oxygen to complete the octet of oxygen. So here Na will be plus. Why? Because it is a metal and it releases the electrons to other elements. So it will be Na plus 2. Now oxygen. Oxygen has gained 2 electrons. So it means 2 minus here. And you can draw Eight electrons around it. Now the second one is MgO. So now MgO. First we will write Mg. Mg is with two electrons, two free electrons. Then we have oxygen. Now again this Mg will lose two electrons to oxygen. These two electrons come over to oxygen to make a octet. So that means Mg2 plus and we have oxygen here, it will be 2 minus and inside the bracket you can make all the 8 electrons inside it. Now the third part says what are the ions present in these compounds? So ions kya hote hain? Ions hote hain humare positive charges and negative charges. So Na jo hai humara, wo kya kar rahe? Release kar rahe. Apne electrons ko release kar rahe. That means it has positive ion. Oxygen kya kar raha hai? Gain kar raha hai. That means oxygen is a negative ion. Again in MgO ki baat kare hai. So Mg ne again kya ki hai? Release ki hai electrons. So again it is plus and oxygen ne gain ki hai. So it is minus. Now second part it says why do ionic compounds have high melting point? Ab jab hum ionic compounds ki baat karte hai. So sab se bale humare dimag mein aata hai NaCl. So NaCl ka क्या होता है कैसे इसको डिसोसिएट करते हैं Na plus Cl minus अब एक के पास पॉजिटिव चार्जेस है एक के पास नेगेटिव चार्जेस है ऑपोजिट चार्जेस क्या करते हैं अट्रैक्ट करते हैं तो दिस इज वन ऑफ द आयनिक कंपाउंड वी हैव तो इसके पास इतनी ज्यादा फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन है कि इसको ब्रेक करना दो हिस्सों में बहुत ही ज्यादा टफ हो जाता है सो देयरफॉर वी वी से दैट दे हैव हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट एंड मेक श्योर यू राइट that they have strong forces of attraction between their charged ions. If you won't write this, you won't fetch marks out of it. So that's all for question number 1 and question number 2 of page number 49. Please like the video, share the video and subscribe to my channel.